Hi, I'm Junior, and I'm here with one of our Easy Wheels trucks. This video is to show you how to double clutch, how to shift um, the gears. This truck in particular is, 10, is a 10 speed. If you look here, you'll see that the frame has reverse on the top left corner, first on the bottom, second, third, fourth, and fifth. Those are the low gears. The high gears are the lighter ones, which is six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And the way you split between the low and the, and the high is with this T-bar here, the splitter. Up means high gears, down means low gears. You always wanna make sure it's down when you take off. Now, how to, how to demonstrate how to shift. I'm gonna clutch in, right, all the way down to the ground, but in order for it to catch first, it cannot hit the floor of the clutch. I have to raise it about an inch off the ground and then it'll grab, now it's in first. I press the service brake, I release the tractor, I release the trailer. How to avoid rolling back? Well, I have my feet on the, on the clutch and the brake. It's in first gear. If I don't want the truck to roll back, then I can't just let go of the brake and keep the clutch in. Because if there's a hill, what will happen is I'll roll back or, back or forward depending on the hill. To avoid that, what you do is you raise the clutch slowly. When you feel that the clutch is about to grab contact, like so, I let go of the brake now and the truck automatically rolls forward because the truck is already trying to move. I'm just not raising the clutch completely where it's tugging too hard. I just let it get contact when it's about to grab, I release the brake and it will always go forward no matter what, what hill you are or what angle. As long as you're in first gear, it has enough power to pull out. If you try to take off on a higher gear on a sharp hill with a lot of weight, that might cause you to stall. So this is strictly just for right now, empty trailer and how to always take off like so. I raise the clutch, I feel the vibration, I let go of the brake, and now we're moving. And that avoids you to roll. Now shifting wise, I let go of the clutch completely, I give a little bit of gas, my RPMs are gonna raise. Once my RPMs are raising somewhere between 10 and 15, the goal is to let go of the gas first, and then clutch forward and clutch forward again. The reason I clutch forward and forward again is because I went from first to second, and second was forward. So I let go of the gas, I clutch neutral, I clutch again to the gear, and I'm in gear. I let go of my feet, it's in second gear, and the truck is rolling. If I give gas, the truck will accelerate. Once the RPM start going up again, I'm going to let go of the gas one more time. I'm going to clutch neutral, I'm going to clutch third, and I let go of my feet, and the truck is rolling again. And if I want to speed up, I accelerate. Understand that shifting has nothing to do with the gas, really. The gas is only in the beginning, once your RPMs are high enough, the actual shifting part is only your clutch and your hand. So I am in third gear and I'm gonna to go to fourth. Once my RPMs are high enough, I let go of the gas, I clutch neutral, I clutch four, and the truck is moving. If I wanna speed up, then I give gas. That is the proper way of shifting up. Now I'm going to try to demonstrate downshifting. Let me just get through this turn. One second. When you're turning, you always wanna use your convex mirror, your bottom mirrors on your fisheye door. These mirrors prevent you from your tire in the back hitting like a pole or a curve. It's very important that you always watch your mirrors. Your mirrors are your best friends, to be honest. The danger is way more in the back than in the front. In the front, you always can see. But in the rear, if you, if you lose focus and you're not paying attention, that can cause you to have an accident. All right, so now that I'm back to straight position, I'm going to shift to 5. I'm going to get the RPMs up past be somewhere between 10 and 15. I let go of the gas. I clutch neutral. I clutch fifth. And we're going. Now, let's just say I needed to turn, right? And I was in a high gear, like seven. Um, the goal is to always try to be in six gear to turn. Six is the best. So I'm just gonna give you a quick demonstration on how to downshift. I'm in fifth and I'm gonna go to four, all right? I don't really recommend downshifting these low gears, but I'm just gonna use it as an example. So once your RPMs are around 10 RPMs, let's say it was at 15, I lowered it by braking to 10. I'm gonna put it in neutral. I'm gonna give a little bit of gas and then I'm gonna clutch, give a little bit of gas and then I'm gonna clutch downshift all right that's how you downshift you break your rpms to about 10 you accelerate somewhere between 13 and then you clutch and you downshift let me try to see if i can get into a higher gear i'm still trying to go around these turns so that could demonstrate a little bit better i'm in fifth now i'm gonna go to i'm gonna hit the t-bar up because i'm gonna go to six t-bar is up let go of the gas clutch clutch i'm in sixth gear keep going Try to go to seven. Let go of the gas, clutch neutral, clutch seven. Now I'm in seventh gear, okay? Now, this will be the type of example that I wanted to give you. Let's just say, for instance, I'm in seven, 
the examiner says, hey, make a right here. I put my signal light uh, with time to let, you know, let him know that I'm going to make the turn. And I start to slow down the RPMs. I want the RPMs around 10. Once they're at 10, I'm going to put it in neutral. I'm going to accelerate. And then I downshift to 6. Okay? That's how you do it. And then in 6 gear, this skier, by you just letting go of your feet. Look, I, have, I don't have my feet in the pillow. The truck is already starting to slow down enough where I can make any type of turn that I like. Okay? So I think uh, that demonstrates how to shift the gears. I'm going to just do a little bit more shifting so you guys can see. I'm in 6. I'm going to try to speed up. I'm going to merge into the highway. Let go of the gas. Clutch neutral. Clutch 7. Keep speeding up. Right? Every time my RPMs hit around 15 RPMs, it's pretty much the, the time you want to shift. I'm around 15 now. Let go of the gas. Clutch neutral. Clutch 8. You don't have to sh clutch too deep when you're shifting. As long as your hand moves quite quickly. Um, and... And then you matching your hand with your leg, neutral, then gear, you'll never have trouble. I'm checking all my mirrors. I'm making sure that I don't see any vehicles coming. Let me close this window a second. Okay. I'm in the clear here to go to merge. Excellent. I'm in eighth gear. Now, again, I want to go to ninth, but my RPMs are around 1,500. I'm going to let go of the gas. I have my foot on the clutch already, but I'm not pressing it. This is a, another technique that helps you guys out when you guys are first learning. Um, keep your foot on the clutch before you let go of the gas. Just don't press down. Keep your hand ready. And then now that I want to shift, I let go of the gas. And then clutch neutral, clutch nine, and you're good. See, I don't have to go that deep. I just got to do a little push, a little push, and it goes nice and smooth. And if I wanted to downshift, I would break down to about 10 RPM. Just make sure it goes to about 10. That's what makes it a little bit more simple. Clutch in, put it in neutral, accelerate, and then clutch, and then you're right in eighth gear. Okay, that's all it is. It's just up and down. Now, don't don't shift unnecessary. Like right now, what I just did was unnecessary. It was no reason for me to downshift. It was more for a demonstration. When you're in the test, just make sure you're doing five miles less than the speed limit. If it's 40 miles an hour, you do should do uh, 35. If it's 50 miles an hour, you should do 45. And here's a technique for shift for what speed and what gear you should be in. If you see that your the speed limit is 25 miles an hour, right? Then Add the two numbers together, 25. You go 2 plus 5 is 7. You should be in 7th gear. If you see the speed limit says 35 miles an hour, well, 3 plus 5 is 8. So you should be in 8th gear because 8th will do 35. 7 will do 25, you see? And if you see 45 miles an hour, 4 plus 5 is 9, so you do 9th gear. And if you see 55 miles an hour and up, well, 5 plus 5 is 10, and then you do 10th gear. And that's the rule of thumb there. For our trucks, 10 speed, if you use that, you'll be perfect. That way you always know what gear to be in by the speed limit. All right? I hope this video show, helps you guys out. I wish to see you guys all soon. We're here all for you. Easy Wheels is here for, to provide our services, and, I, and I'm happy to, to share this with you. Hopefully, hopefully I'll see you guys soon. I'm Junior. This is Victor. Any questions, feel free to ask us, and I can't wait for you guys to start your new career. Take care.